can I tell you about the time I crop dusted Jack Nicholson? <laughs> uh, we won't, uh, this won't be in the show, but I'll tell you what happened. I was, um, I'd done a few films with uh, Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson was in one of them, uh, Anger Management. And um, so anyway, we do the first day of rehearsal for Anger Management and Jack Nicholson's there. And afterwards, I go over to him, because I, I want to meet him. I can't believe it's Jack Nicholson. He's in this film with me. And, um, and I'm very scared of him. I don't know if I'm a fan of his or if I'm just terrified of him, you know? <laughs> but this is Jack Nicholson. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, The Shining. You know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Batman. Um, so, so I wait, and I wait for the right moment. And then I go over there, and I'm so scared. My heart is beating like crazy. And I tap him on the shoulder, and he turns around. He goes, yeah. I said, hey, Jack, hey, Jack, you've been, um, you been golfing over at uh, uh, Lake Sherwood lately? Because I knew he was a member there. And he, and he said, what? And now I'm really scared. And Sandler's laughing behind him. I'm like, <laughs> I said, hey, you've been uh, golfing over at, uh, uh, but uh, I'm so nervous. My heart's going a million miles. So you've been over at Lake, Lake Sherwood lately? He said, not since the last time you asked me that question. I didn't know what he meant by that. Sandler's cracking up behind him, you know, woo, woo, woo. I didn't know if, if uh, he meant, did I ask him that a year ago? I didn't remember it. Or is he referring to just when, before when he pretended he didn't hear what I was asking him? I analyzed his answer for like a year, every day, every day. I wonder what he meant by that. I wonder, was he making fun of me? Or was he what? Okay, so it's like a year later and I see him at this big Hollywood party. Everybody was there. It was like a Hollywood wax museum. I'm serious. I mean, Christopher Walken, Harrison Ford, Elizabeth Taylor was there, uh, Princess Leia, George Lucas, uh, Al Pacino, Harrison Ford, Christopher Walken was there, Al Pacino, Elizabeth Taylor was even there, Princess Leia, George Lucas, Al Pacino. And I see uh, Jack Nicholson in the middle of the room. I go, Oh my God, this is my chance to redeem myself and reintroduce myself. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the right window to go over there. I would be a good assassin because I know I, when the window is and I wait and I wait. And finally I went over there, I was passing walking, I don't care, Pacino, I don't care, Leia, I don't know, no. And then I get up to him and I tap him on the shoulder, heart beating, he turns around and I go, hey Jack, you been golfing over at, um, <laughs> Like Sherwood like me? And right then, Al Pacino tapped him on the shoulder. Nicholson turned his back to me and totally snubbed me to talk to Al Pacino and just stood that way. So I was like standing behind Jack Nicholson, looking at his back. It looked like I was waiting in line to talk to Al Pacino, but I wasn't. I didn't care about Al Pacino. But I couldn't believe he snubbed me like that. It was so embarrassing. And you know what? I must have had something to eat that day that didn't agree with me. And right then, I crop dusted Jack Nicholson. I crop dusted him good. I mean, up and down the back. And I think Al Pacino caught some of the fallout from it. I didn't care, and I got out of there because it was not gonna be good. And I'm passing, walking, you know, Harrison Ford, Princess Leia, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I go back to my starting position, and I'm, you know, I'm scared about what's gonna happen now. I felt like I've just, you know, did a big crime. <laughs> And he's talking to Pacino, and then all of a sudden he stops, and he goes, Jesus Christ, what the hell died in here? And I thought, that's the last time he ever snubs me. <laughs> that's right. Not only did I meet him, but I got inside of Jack Nicholson.